Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend and welcome to a snowy November day in Canada when I'm recording this. And today we're going to talk about a special type of lighting that takes place only at this time of year and the title in the book is Walk in the Light. You've all probably seen winter photographic landscapes that are in calendars. Back in the day when we had wall calendars, I guess we still do, I never use one. But anyhow, you know that blue, blue sky and the pristine, crystally white snow and the dusting of snow on the dark green fir trees and that blue lake that is in the background, for example. And you might be thinking, wow, that must have taken a lot of photography equipment. That person must have used a lot of filters, etc. Not necessarily. If you've got the right light, if you've got the right time of day, you can use even your smartphone and get an incredible shot that all of your friends will be going, how did you do that? That's happened to me quite a few times where I will just basically quickly roll down a car window, take a shot as fast as I can, hardly even aiming my smartphone and rolling the window back up because it's so freaking cold out there. But anyhow, as I said, this beauty only exists during the coldest time of the year in northern climates. And why is that? It all has to do with the sun and where that sun is sitting. Because the sun is so low, it casts light in a way that enhances the beauty of everything that you would want to see. Now, I live in the city, and so if you're gonna to wanna to take a really good shot, you know, not of the dirty snow from the car exhaust, or whatever, you've gotta get on your gloves and your mitts and your toque and your snow boots and a good warm parka, and of course you need to wear your sunglasses. Even those who don't have as light sensitive eyes as I do, you need them at this time of year. But when you go out there, when you've got that resolve and fortitude and you march your way outside, you are rewarded with spectacular beauty. That's the only way I can describe it. Being up close and personal to that winter wonderland does pay a price though. You cannot be out there for too long without you beginning to feel a chill. And the longer you're out there, you, even with the warmest of equipment, you do stand a chance of frostbite or hypothermia. Now, the chances of that happening where I am at are pretty slim, uh, just because most people know how to dress in the winter. And once you know how to dress, you're absolutely fine. Now, in God's presence, however, our vulnerabilities, our weaknesses, and our character flaws stand out as vividly as a tree's shadow does when the sun hits it and that shadow elongates against a white field. And yet, in the midst of that vulnerability and that shadow, I guess you could call it, we can find safety. We are in the presence of unconditional love after all, and we are wrapped in his robes of righteousness if we are Christ followers, meaning that when that life exposes us for everything that we are, we are protected from his harsh glare and the longer we stay in God's light, the more comfortable we become, the more free we become, and the more healing and restoration takes place in our lives. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you. 1 John 1, verse 5 to 8. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship, 
with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and we don't practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one and another. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. However, in Isaiah 1 verse 18, God says to his people, and remember, this was in the Old Testament before Jesus. Come now, let us reason together. Isaiah 1 verse 18. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They, though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Take a risk. You don't need to be prepared outside of just walking into his light because he has everything you'll ever need to be in his presence just waiting for you on the other side of darkness. <laughs>